For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Brian Schultz. BSU baseball team opens up play this weekend. Four-game series at Missouri Southern State. Joined by senior infielder Joey Hanowski out of Little Falls. How happy are you guys to, to finally get outside and start playing? We're excited. Uh, obviously, it seems like yesterday we were just getting out of the fall ball, and now we're a couple days away from heading down there and uh, facing a very tough opponent right away. You've played virtually every position one can play while you've been here. What position, Skip, got you playing this year? Uh, I think hopefully I'll be mostly at uh, third. Might have to catch a little bit right away just because we got some uh, new faces behind the plate. Just uh, get them, get their feet wet a little bit. But hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be just kind of be at third base. That's what I'd like to be at. Last year, you guys had some positive things happen, but it didn't seem like you could catch a break on the, on the hill at all. Uh, if your pitching is going this year, how good can you guys be? We can be very good. Um, you know, and it's tough to just put it all on our pitching. I think defense and pitching are kind of very correlated, and we didn't, we weren't very good defensively. And when you're doing that, you're putting a lot of stress on your pitcher's arms, you know, like making good pitches and stuff, and then we're not making plays for them. So if we can, you know, tune up that side of the game, we're going to be very tough because we can score runs. Who, at least early on, is going to be your workhorse on the mound? I don't know. We got a lot of good guys coming. Uh, we got a couple good uh, Juco guys and – uh, Mark Lashinsky and Zach Petray coming up from California. And then we've got uh, Jack Stigman and Terry Haddon and Ryan Franson have all looked good. So we're excited for a lot of our guys. And then we got Rydell, who I don't know if it's going to be a starter or a closer kind of for us, but it's kind of it's pretty exciting when you've seen uh, some guys really do well so far. What's it like that first game outside when you haven't practiced outside since last fall? It's different. Um, definitely, uh, I think we're, we're pretty excited that we get to go down a day early and practice because I think last year uh, our first BP session at Washburn was kind of embarrassing. They're out there just roping balls, and we're falling balls back like, what the heck? But, no, it'll be good to practice. And, you know, any time you play, it's, you just kind of knock the rust off a little bit. But we're excited, and it should be pretty fun. How different is it in all aspects of the game when you're outside as opposed to inside as far as picking up the ball, as far as seeing spin out of the hand and that kind of stuff? Oh, it's extremely different. Um, it just depends on parks, too. Um, we're going to be going down and playing at basically a brand-new facility. They built it last year. But, I mean, it's hard picking up balls inside, too, because you get some of those balls that are beat up, they kind of hit the cement, and then they kind of turn into, uh, like, gray baseballs, which is, you know, tough for hitters. Our pitchers probably love it. But, you know, it's it's different. Um, like I said, we're excited. But this is the territory you got to know come and play uh, baseball in northern Minnesota, that you're going to be inside. And, um, you know, they're out, they've probably been outside for two weeks. We're not going to use that as an excuse because we're ready to go down there and win a couple games. How much did that NSIC playoff run uh, your freshman year um, really drive you here for the rest of your career? I mean, like I said, I've, I've said many times you couldn't ask for a better freshman year. Um, it makes you really hungry to get back there. Um, and you can ask a lot of our guys, this is probably – you know, the group that's been the most driven since I've been here, since that crew, because last year, you know, we didn't catch a couple of breaks, but we, we vastly underachieved in all our books. Um, we had a lot of, we had a good core group coming back that had a lot of experience the year before, and uh, we underachieved, and we know that, and I think that's what's really driven this team to work hard to this point. Best of luck. Thank you.